Alright guys, let's get started for this Let's Play. I got all your votes and I'm ready to go. I don't think I'll be using a Rumble Pack, thank you very much. Shaolin Temple in China, eh? China! Steal a sacred map of elements, of course. We'll see about that, Scorpion. <laughs> Basically, the story behind this game, it actually goes right before Mortal Kombat 1. Hopefully I don't fuck up too much. Oh, I probably don't even have the ice attack yet. There we go. Oh, but I still need to gain experience before that. Oh, potion. I'll just be a bit careful. Remember, the lowest amount of deaths I got for a vote was zero. I don't see myself going the entire game without dying once. It's a bit too hard to do, trust me. The difficulty is there. Come on. Yeah. Remember, you gain experience points just by using combos. Ah, a potion. And you suck. Bag it. Okay, do be careful here. You don't want to jump all the way before you land on that thing. Well, the railing. Because that's it's death. Remember, Sub-Zero is not a cat. Yeah. I uh, better use a potion now. Just give myself some more health. Oh, I got the freeze now. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah. I may have lost out on experience points, but I don't care. Hey, what the hell? Uh oh. Um, uh, I switched. I reconfigured my controller to make it a lot different. So the set will be confusing. Ooh, yeah. Who's your favorite Lin Kuei ninja? Tell me who. Okay, I'm definitely healing now. Uh, I think I'll want to combine that with this. That gives me maximum health, but I'm not going to use that yet. And anyways, it's boss time! Now I gotta fight Scorpion. Before he became the Spectre of the Nether Realm. So he's gonna do a bit of a challenge. Remember, this was before Sub-Zero killed Scorpion. So he's not gonna have the spear or the teleport or anything like that, but he is still a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. Luckily I got the freeze to help me out. As well as my skills. And a few potions, just in case I fuck up a few times. Uh, uh, ah! Oh! First death. Remember, I can't get to my potions while I'm down. That sucks. Luckily, I still retain my experience when I die. That's pretty much the only thing I got going for me. Remember, I played this game before, but I wasn't that good. I had to use invincibility all the time. This is the first time I'm actually attempting this game without it.
Okay, there we go. This feels like a sacrilege to me, because I like Scorpion more than Sub-Zero. I'm sorry, I just do. If I can pull off his fatality, like the Spine Rip, I'll be doing his all a big favor. Uh oh, he's really close. Uh, I don't want to use the healer, I want to save that for later levels. Uh, pull off the freeze already. Okay. Ah! Uh. Ah, fuck! I wanted to do the fatality. That means we miss out on a boss battle later on in the game. Oh, fine. Guess we'll go through the other cutscene. I don't feel like an idiot. I, can't, I was doing it right. Like, forward, down, forward, high punch. It all depends on the distance you're away from the guy. That's the biggest pain in the ass there is. Time for some more amateur rope climbing with Sub Zero! I actually recorded part of this earlier, but the audio went a bit too fast, so I fiddled around with the uh, audio plugin and luckily I fixed it. Good news, right? Of course. God, how far do I have to climb? Okay, I can jump off now. There. Successful in his mission, Sub-Zero escapes from the Shaolin Temples. Whee! And returns to his secret Linkway headquarters, hidden high above the mountains of northern China. Grandmaster, in honor of the Linkway, I bring to you the sacred map of elements. Yep, with the B button you can actually go back in case you miss something. Once again, our most cunning assassin and thief is successful. At ease, my Linkway warrior. Greetings! I see the ninja is successful in retrieving my map, as I have foreseen. Let's get something straight. I am not a ninja. I am Lin Kuei. Scorpion was a ninja. Ah, yes. Your Japanese counterpart. It's unfortunate that you haven't upon him in your battle with the pesky Shaolin monks. Scorpion was tipped off! He knew I was bringing him to that temple. If he weren't there, there wouldn't have been a battle. You are responsible for this, sorcerer. I'll admit, I also retain Scorpion's service. In case you had failed, I needed some assurance. But your peace of mind almost cost me this mission. Enough! Quan Chi, what about our payment? Ah, uh, yes, I almost forgot. In this bag are the bones of your arch nemesis and leader of Scorpion's ninja clan, the Shirai Ryu. And this is the skull of the leader of the Shirai Ryu? It most certainly is. I stripped it of the flesh myself. Ha! Huh. Our ancient foes have been vanquished in one transaction. I've personally made certain that every last remnant of that clan has been eliminated forever. You see, Sub-Zero, you can trust a sorcerer sometimes. Now, you will use the map on your next mission. Quan Chi has once again retained your services. Fine, give me the details. This map you stole, it shows the way to a temple which retains man's recorded history on Earth for thousands of years. The Temple of Elements has been hidden in what are known as the Himalayan Mountains of Nepal. This map is the only evidence of its existence. Fine. I get to the temple and then what? What's inside? A small amulet, worthless to you, but let's just say it has great sentimental value to me. If it's so precious, why don't you get it yourself? I cannot enter the temple until the four elements within its walls have been defeated. And I am not on the best of terms with the gods of your realm. Especially your god of thunder, which is Raiden, by the way. Tell me about these elements. They are the four elements which comprise the very existence of your realm. Wind, wa earth, water, and fire. With your mastery of the element of cold, you have an advantage that no other human has. The ability to defeat the elements. I have foreseen this. Sub-Zero scales the gorges of the massive Himalayan mountains. There he discovers the entrance to the Temple of Elements. Do I want to save your game? Sure. Thank you! Collect the three icons representing the elements of wind. Which I will do next time on Let's Play Mortal Kombat Mythologies. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.